Thank you for inviting us here to speak. Uh, it looks great to sponsor you guys here. So my name is Iro Salmen. I'm pretty much running the Finnish side of New Relic. So we don't have even office here. We are still in Dublin. So we flew from there. And he's Miroslav. Uh, he is one of our sales engineers. So he is more of the technical part. So if there's, for example, POCs, uh, he would be helping me on the technical part to make sure that everything works as planned and you get most out of the POCs. So we are trying to actually keep this quite short and more relevant. So I decided not to do a basic what is new relic and that we are going to actually explain more what we do together with uh, Red Hat and how you can work our systems with the open shift as well. So I'll give the floor to uh, Miroslav and he will show you a little bit more of that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Hiro. So, um, uh, as he was saying, so I just want to start with a, a kind of high level view um, to show you where New Relic can help with your uh, Red Hat stack. Uh, so, you can see here visually on this slide uh, which components we integrate with and where we can help you monitor those components. So, typically, you know, you might start by installing our infrastructure agent uh, on your Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so we can monitor the performance of your servers. Um, this also includes an integration for management tools such as Ansible. Um, then we also offer VMware integration for Red Hat virtualization. And also, if you are running your instances in a, a public cloud, um, as we just saw, uh, we also offer multi-cloud monitoring for Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and of course, Google Cloud Platform. And last but not least, since this is, um, since you know, obviously uh, OpenShift is what we, we're talking about today, um, New Relic can also help you instrument your uh, Kubernetes um, uh, container uh, instrument uh, orchestration environment. And so I just want to go more into detail about how exactly we do that. Um, you'll be able to report metrics coming directly from those objects that are running within your Kubernetes cluster. And it has become really vital for companies these days to understand their full stack, which is something that, uh, which is exactly what New Relic is helping with, um, in order to be able to provide best-in-class uh, best customer experience. So, um, especially with the ephemeral nature of Kubernetes, a single view is really required for all of those teams to work with a single source of truth. So basically to have you know, people across teams within the organization that are looking at the same dashboards, uh, at the same information, to be able to you know, work in the same direction. So um, thanks to New Relic, you'll not only be able to see the cluster itself, but everything that's going on within the cluster. So as I said, you will see metrics for all of these objects living inside your cluster, the nodes, the pods, the containers, and of course the applications themselves, so since this is really the, the bread and butter of New Relic, New Relic, and how those applications are running on the containers. <coughs> so it looks like I'll be the, the, the first person today to actually go into a little product demo. It's going to be very short and sweet, I promise. Um, but this is actually a New Relic Insights data app um, showing you how we can help you monitor your OpenShift cluster. So yes, we start with the cluster itself, and here we build some, uh, some widgets on the resources that the cluster is utilizing. And you can see here all of the objects living inside the, the cluster in real time. So you'll see um, the count of all these pods and containers, which will um, update in real time. <coughs> and then we continue with the deployments. And here, for example, we can build things about um, how many pods we have available, um, how many are, are still pending, and what's the desired level of pods, for instance, and many, many more things. So here, I just want to, to point out that this is really, um, this is all, uh, these are all custom dashboards, and all we're doing here is basically is we're asking questions of the New Relic uh, database, New Relic Insights database, and we are able basically to, to, to build whatever you want. I mean, the, the, the possibilities here are pretty much um, limitless. Then you probably want to drill further down into the containers themselves. 
So here we can actually see how those con con containers are performing. Again, because they're so ephemeral, it's really important that these are real-time dashboards, which are going to show you how many containers are running, for example, um, per, per, you know, per image and you know, the actual uh, performance and um, um, you know, memory or CPU of all these containers broken down by each container name. And finally, as I said, here we build some dashboards on the actual applications that are running on those containers. So, so here you can see you know, typical performance metrics for response times, as well as errors, and many, many more. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the presentation where um, I'm gonna give the word back to Eero, who's just gonna explain to you how this all maps out to the Neuralic platform. Yeah, uh, all right, uh, so thanks, Miroslav. So basically, this is how New Relic platform looks like, and because now we were showing how New Relic can complement uh, Red Hat. So basically, here you can see what we have there. So when we talk about end user experience and customer experience, then we have our front end side, the mobile browser and synthetic. So you can, uh, you can monitor your mobile apps, you can monitor your browser performance, you can do synthetics, you can create different kind of checks. So that's like our agentless tool. So you can just build, you can use Selenium, for example, and build scripts that will help you. Then of course, APM, which is our application performance monitoring. So that's like where New Relic started at one point, one day. And infrastructure is where we have all these integrations and we are building whole time more and it's for your making sure that the server side is uh, working perfectly. And like how we are uh, telling that everything works together, it's like the insights where he was showing a couple of the dashboards. So basically we have the end-to-end -end, uh, experience. You can, you can monitor from server side to applications to front end and insights is our analytical tool where you can build different custom uh, dashboards, you can do queries, so you can, you can get loads of extra information. You can even bring uh, custom data there if that's what you wish. So it's pretty much up to you uh, how you want to use it. And just to make sure, because nowadays uh, we were talking on our couple of case studies earlier about the security, so we will also have next month a data center in Europe, which might help. Uh, in uh, some point, and uh, I'm just wanting to make sure that you come then to have a chat with us. If you have questions, take my business card, take my details. I'm happy to answer your questions later on also. And most of all, make sure that you take uh, swag and t-shirt from there, so I don't need to take any back with us. <laughs> uh, so uh, thank you from my side, and uh, I hope that everybody enjoys the lunch next.